The Mucosal Immunology Group uh, is working on all aspects of HIV prevention, um, but with a particular interest in the development of microbicides, um, and that's where the Motif project comes in. Um, and so we've been working in that area for a number of years and have developed some interesting models that are helping us design better ways to protect people from HIV infection. Our role in Motif is to try and model the way these antiretroviral drugs work to prevent HIV infection. And so we've developed some models where we can take uh, mucosal tissue from patients following therapeutic surgery and we can grow that tissue in very small uh, explants, small cultures, um, as an intact piece of tissue and look at how the drugs interact with the tissue in terms of safety, but also how they are uh, working to prevent HIV infection. Um, and so we can determine how potent they are and look at different ways to modulate their activity. So to some extent, it's as near as we can get to actually testing them in a real life challenge situation, because we're taking mucosal tissue and challenging it with the HIV virus in the laboratory and seeing whether the, whether the drugs work. This is one of the interesting aspects of this project in that it's very collaborative. So what we do here depends on what the other groups are doing. So they're feeding information into us. That's helping us better design our experiments. We then do the experiments and share that information and it goes round in terms of then sharpening up the experiments that they're doing. And so we can move the project forward in an accelerated fashion, um, in a way that you would not be able to do it if it was individual isolated teams. So actually the coordination and the interaction is a critical component of making this project successful and making it successful in a timely fashion. The main advantage of this project is that it's already built on a sound scientific basis. And so what we're doing is taking an approach that's using existing antiretroviral drugs that we know work really well for therapy. Um, and we already uh, understand that they work for prevention in different models. And we're looking at formulating them in a way that will make them even more potent. So we anticipate that coming out of this project, we'll have ways of delivering these drugs for prevention that will get the very best out of the drugs and provide the best uh, opportunities um, for preventing HIV to men and women. The benefits that we see from this project is that currently the only forms of really effectively preventing HIV transmission is using condoms. And where they're used, they work really well, um, but they're not appropriate in many situations. Um, we know that the biggest risk factor for women becoming HIV positive is being in a stable relationship. And there, one of the aspects is that once you're in a stable relationship, there are issues of trust. Um, and in a world where there's a, a large degree of gender imbalance, um, particularly in some parts of the developing world, it may not be possible for a woman to negotiate with her partner and ask him to use a condom if she's in a long-term relationship where they may want to be having children, where fertility may be important. And so currently, there is no other approach available to these women. If we have a microbicide, that works and works efficiently, it would allow the woman to choose an approach that would give her protection against HIV um, and be applicable in any situation. Um, so what we're trying to do is increase the number of prevention options so that people have a choice um, and can choose something that's applicable to their lifestyle and their situation. Uh, and a similar fashion works for men. We're interested in, in trying to develop 
rectally applied microbicides because again there are certain situations where men particularly if they're in a vulnerable situation may not be able to uh, to have their partners use condoms it'll give them more options and we know that the more ways people have to choose to prevent HIV the more effective we are on a community or a global basis of reducing the incidence of HIV and that's a good thing for everybody. The major challenges for HIV research are uh, providing better prevention um, because we have extremely good treatment now for HIV. Um, when people are put on treatment early and they take the drugs regularly, it can essentially extend their lifespan to what you'd expect from a normal healthy individual. But it comes at a high cost on a global scale. So uh, currently it's about $20 billion per year to treat those people that uh, require treatment. And we still are unable to get treatment to everybody who would be uh, who would met benefit from it medically. So in order to be able to meet that treatment gap, we need to reduce the number of transmissions. Um, and microbicides um, and the use of antiretroviral drugs for prevention are the current next best thing. So the sooner we can work out how to deliver them effectively, show that they work and get them made available, the better. Um, beyond that, there will still be a requirement to push for a vaccine. Um, that's definitely a very major scientific challenge and it's unclear when we'll make a breakthrough in that area. So again, having uh, prevention options that we can deliver now is important um, because we don't know the interval between now and when we might have a, a truly effective vaccine, which would be the ultimate a solution for HIV prevention. We're very active. Um, we have been working on looking at how the antiretroviral drugs block infection in tissue models, um, particularly looking at how they block infection in vaginal tissue and rectal tissue. Um, and the drugs work really nicely. Um, we see some synergistic effects. If you put them together, they work better, um, and that's promising. And the next steps really are to start to see if we can enhance their activity to another step by modulating some of the transporters which are known to influence the uptake of these drugs. If we can do that, then we can formulate the drugs to get the very best out of them when we deliver them topically.